Hi, I'm Hisham, creator of Dr. Hisham's Holistic Oral Care System. I'm here on a beautiful, sunny winter afternoon on a Saturday in Auckland. And I was having a walk after a long night where I went to sleep at 3 a.m. in the morning. And I thought I'd pause and give you a um, bit of what I've been thinking about, what I've been doing lately. Now, the reason I slept at 3 a.m. is because I've been working on the final designs of our new organic dental detox tooth whitening powder as well as our all new eco and compostable packaging for our refills a lot of news there to come but I'll, I'll, that's not the subject for today um, the reason I wanted to do this video stop here in my walk and, and do this video for you is to talk about something very very important that struck me as quite a highlight yesterday last night another one of the things I was doing is I was paying um, our one of our suppliers in, in Europe for nanohydroxyapatite. Now, nanohydroxyapatite is what we use as one of the two main remineralizing agents in our serums and our powders, including the new powder. The other one is calcium glycerol phosphate, which is also from Germany. Well, one is from Germany, one is from Portugal. So the point is, when I paid that invoice, it just struck me that most people don't know these things that happen behind the scenes. Why are we choosing these products? Why are they better for you? How much do they cost? And why is the stuff that's in here, toothpaste, so cheap and, and other than being nasty and, and non-functional and non-biological and really most of it is, is either useless, irritant or toxic. What's the one thing that we can compare here cost-wise? that's value for you and for your benefit. So nanohydroxyapatite, what is it? Teeth and bones, the mineral in teeth and bones, in human teeth and bones, is called hydroxyapatite. Hydroxyapatite is a special combination of calcium and phosphate groups with a hydroxyl group in between. That's what we need to replenish to maintain the health of our teeth and our bones, anywhere inside the body, obviously any bone inside the body. So we either supply it with calcium and phosphate in a soluble form, which we do in our products, calcium glycerol phosphate, plus vitamin D3 and vitamin K2, so that the body knows what to do with that, and or nanohydroxyapatite, which is proven beyond shadow of doubt to be directly remineralizing to teeth and bones, because it's actually the mineral itself that makes them up in a nano form, so it goes straight in, versus what is claimed to be the other mineralizing agent in most toothpaste, in most conventional toothpastes, by the way, natural toothpaste, most of them don't contain any remineralizing agents. That's a whole different story. That, that doesn't make them any better. But fluoride, the other one. So what I paid for yesterday was two kilograms of nanohydroxyapatite. That was 1,010 euros, plus shipping, of course. That is $850 per kilo. One kilo, $850 for nanohydroxyapatite and we use quite a bit of it in our, in our products. If you have any idea how much fluoride costs, go to Alibaba, check out sodium fluoride, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I've been doing this research for almost two decades now, for 20 years I've been doing this. So you can just check out everything that I'm saying here, whether it's correct or not. $700 for a ton, that's a thousand kilos. A thousand kilos, $700 a kilo is 70 cents of sodium fluoride. Highly toxic substance, comes with a cross in the bones, many other issues with it. I don't want to go into the details of the toxicity now. I want to go into the efficiency and how much of it goes in. So 70, 70 cents a kilo at 0.2%, which is what it says there on the formulations, 0.2% in most toothpaste, to give you that 1,500 parts per million of fluoride that is supposed to remineralize your teeth, it actually only does that if it binds to calcium. If there is calcium and phosphate present, then the, the fluoride binds to it. If it isn't, if it's coming out, if there's an acidic environment, it doesn't bind to it. So really what you want is to replenish the calcium and phosphate, not let it come out and then go, oh, we're adding fluoride, well, what's the fluoride binding to? That's science, that's knowledge, that's common sense, that's basic chemistry. Anyway, let's go to the point here. So $700 for a, for a ton, 1,000 kilos, 70 cents a kilo versus $800, $850 for one kilo of nanohydroxyapatite, which is in a higher concentration in our products than here. And the whole nanohydroxyapatite, plus all the other ma magnificent, all 100% active bioactive ingredients in here, versus that's the only so-called active ingredient in, in toothpaste, except in this one, which still says triclosan on it. Uh, they've been fighting us 
the, the, the dentists and the people who've been talk, speaking about against triclosan for the last 15 years, dental associations writing to us saying, oh, it's totally safe and all that rubbish until just this year, they removed it from their toothpaste after fighting uh, everyone who's been speaking against it like myself. And um, anyway, long story short, triclosan is, is, is toxic and harmful to bones and to many other parts of the body and to the environment. Sodium fluoride is also toxic and they're cheap as dirt. The whole combination of ingredients that's in here, everything, most of it is inactive or useless or irritant, plus the, the fluoride, probably 10 cents in total, because really at 0.2% of sodium fluoride, at 70 cents a kilo, this is why this stuff is cheap as dirt, and this, that's why this magical, intelligently, intelligent, intentionally designed product and all the other products that come within our, within our system are so exclusive and unique in that they don't just contain biofunctional and physiological ingredients, but they contain them in very high concentrations at the right amounts from the right sources, not just any 9 hydroxapatite only the best, the best of the best will do for you, for me, for my family and my guests and our world. So knowing all this and understanding all that, the choice is still yours. I'm only here to create choices and, and to, to give people information and to allow people to know what, I, what I've learned. It's not what I know, it's what I, I know it through learning and constant learning so that they can make up their own minds. You still have a choice to go and buy cheap and nasty and continue giving those multi-billion dollar detergent manufacturers, whether they call it natural or unnatural, it's all the same and most of the companies now own both, both ends of, of the story. Keep doing that, your choice. I don't have any control over that or wake up understand not just this one ingredient like I, I'm just talking about but everything else that goes behind it what happens in the process of design intelligent design beforehand during what does it do to your body what does it do to our environment and who are you benefiting so a small company like us here in little New Zealand feeding local New Zealand New Zealand families uh, selecting very carefully everything from our packaging to our sources to our processes to our output to our ecosystem impact everything is, is, is analyzed and done properly and always evolving always better and better is that who you want to work with to collaborate with and we talk to you one-to-one -one, face to face with all authenticity with all reality and I keep telling you how I made things, how I design things, where are things going, why we do it this way. In many other videos and many future videos, you, you'll keep hearing me say, saying that for, you know, for the rest of my life, really. Is that who you want to be working with, buying from somebody who you can ask questions directly and get answers? And even if you don't know the questions to, it, <laughs> to ask yet because you haven't researched it or even thought about it, somebody who challenges you to think and gives you the answers and gives you the questions, first of all, and then raises the questions, then gives you the answers because I take the time to find out. This is what I do with my life, to create better oral care, physiological oral care products that directly affect the rest of your body all the time because all health starts through the mouth. All health starts through the mouth, including the microbiome. The whole gut microbiome is only coming through and being both the seed and the feed of the, the, the gut microbiome is all coming through the mouth and the oral microbiome. So we have to look after that first so that we can look after the rest of our microbiome so that we can look after the rest of our body and so on and so forth while we're looking after our environment and ourselves collectively for a better humanity. Until I see you next time, always keep remembering what I keep asking people to, and myself to do, which is let's seek health rather than fight disease. Totally different point of view. For a better world and a better humanity, I'll leave you with love, grace and gratitude. Thank you.